Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 176, and in this segment, I'm going to be driving the Celine Mustang, yeah! Specifically the S281E, and we're going up to A-Class, we're graduated, we, we finished B-Class, now we're, we're going up to A-Class, and, um, this thing's got a nice little bit of power, I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade the tires on this thing. Apparently the front tires I cannot upgrade the width on, but the rear tires I can, so let's just go ahead and do that. And upgrade the compounds, go with sport tires, although it still leaves me pretty low in A-Class, but it, uh, I will see how this goes. If I need to upgrade this further, I, you know, <laughs> the option is there. But here we go, opening the third column of the U.S. events is the must modern Mustang Club. So, uh, none of that classic shit here. We got the modern Mustangs. Mostly Shelby and Celine, but, you know. So, let's do this. We've got three races. Oh, God, Sebring Club. Same three tracks as we've usually been going to, except uh, Road Atlanta instead of Maple Valley. Anyway, let's go. Oh, boy. Haven't had this much problems with a race in quite a while. I don't really miss this. So... Let's try for like the sixth or seventh time to win this race. God damn it. I just cannot get around this first turn on lap one. The car just understeers forever. You should totally go to the extreme rules, Harry. It's fucking wrestling, yo. Should do it. It would be extreme on Whoa. Okay. I'm behind both Davis and Taylor, but... The good news is, I'm not far behind Davis. Excuse me, Taylor. I'm going to be a bullying asshole. And force my way around you. Davis, very fast. I need to lose as little time to him as possible to start here. Please let this gap be less than fucking two seconds. It's like one and a half. 1.1, 1. 1. okay, that is good. Let's see, that is something I can actually close. And I have an extra lap to do it as well. So let's just drive this thing with at least half a brain. Not miss the breaking points of this turn like I've done a couple times. Okay. We are th very much in there. Finally. So the only reason I'm being like so stubborn with this race and refusing to upgrade my car further is because I know the next two races won't, or the other two races, I should say, won't be uh, too bad. Won't be nearly as bad as this, because, you know, Sea Ring Club's just one of those tracks that's actually difficult. Yeah, Harry, I would say just go there, have a fun time, enjoy the graps. Don't worry about the booking later. Just enjoy the show. I don't know. <laughs> Contemplated a dive for about a fucking nanosecond there. Wasn't close enough for that. Yeah, no, shocking cue. Me being stubborn, not with upgrades. What a fucking... Like, I've never done that before. Whoa, that's such a rare thing for me to do. Huh, huh, huh. Just slipstream 
this fucker. And if I stay close enough here, I should be able to maybe just wrap my way around him. Around this left hand kink. Really set up a dive to the next corner. What's up, Davis? Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. We got this, finally. A little bit defensive. Just to be safe. And he doesn't have enough of a straight line advantage to do anything here. There we go. Took like 500 tries, but I finally win the race one. Took me 20 minutes, yay. 20 minutes to win a five minute race. Everyone else doesn't matter, but, you know. You gotta show their finishing time just in case someone cares. I mean, I care. But, you know. Anyways, let's go to race two and hopefully not nearly as uh, difficult of a time. Oh my god. Okay, race two, Road Atlanta. Feeling kind of confident about this one. Definitely won't be nearly as bad as Sebring, that's for damn sure. You stay over in your lane, buddy. Okay, go. Staying wide, just in case. Not sure if there's one or two cars underneath me. I know there's at least one. And onto the podium, just like that. Okay. That went very well. Let's continue with this uh, momentum here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Taylor going for the lead. Shelby probably has slightly better handling than Selene, I don't know. Dance new for sure. Whoa. Big jump. Alrighty. Now on to Davis. That was easy. Much, much easier than Sebring, that's for damn sure. See, I told you it was going to be a lot easier. No suffering here. Oh, hey, the drive tester is back. How about that shit? Where the fuck did you go, Dad? Probably set up this last turn instead of just hugging the bottom like a dumbass. Taylor is still right behind Davis. I can imagine how much fun uh, TDU online shenanigans are. I mean, online shenanigans and the crew was fucking quite interesting. So, you know, I'm sure that translates well into to duh. I don't want to play to you now. I might have to move that LP higher on my priority list, I don't know. 
shenanigans sometime. That's the thing, Test Drive, I don't have shenanigan time, ever. That's why I haven't fucking touched Overwatch or anything. And for fucking ever. Ooh, okay. We're good, everything's fine. And we're on the final lap, I have a comfortable gap over the battle for a second. Thunder went to space, oh boy. I like that boost gauge over in the center of the dash. Because it pretty much is a, a, uh, a throttle percentage gauge. I don't know, anyways. Oh, it's late. Okay, we made it. Good, everything's fine. Just slide it around the final turn since it's the last lap and I don't give a shit. And I win. Much, much, much easier. Than the uh, C ring. And Davis managed to hold off Taylor. Brown wasn't too far behind. You know who is far behind? Jones, because uh, he didn't upgrade his car enough. There he goes. So, one race remaining in the Mustang, Modern Mustang Club. And we've reached level 97. We're almost at 100. Almost. Okay, final race, Sunset Peninsula. Club circuit. So we had, we had our fun at the full circuit, now we're back to the club circuit. Or short circuit, or whatever the fuck it's called in this game. So, off we go, four laps around here. Again, this should be about... That should be easy. Wow. Wow. Horrible start from Davis. Or for Davis. Oh god. Oh, Davis falling back some more. I hear contact. Yep, yep. And the Williams are uh, scraping each other. Whoop. I was uh, pretty much planning that overtake. I'm like, hmm, where am I going to pass Taylor? I know, right fucking there. Just got to get to it. Oh, he's got the straight line advantage. Shit. Honestly, I don't see any uh, GTA in inspiration for the Hot Wheels expansion. Looks like it's inspired by Hot Wheels. If anything, the GTA 5 like stunt tracks that were inspired by Hot Wheels tracks. Son. You were thinking about this the wrong way. Anyways, I have the lead, still. Got it back. Now I'm gonna hold it till the end of time. Yeah, it's kinda like GTA selling cons, because I'm sure it, that was inspired by Hot Wheels stuff. You know, the way it, that shit is. Oh, God. Or Trackmania. Trackmania is, you know, would have been another inspiration for the GTA stuff. Yeah, so Hot Wheels or Hot Wheels. Pretty much Q. Either way. Either way, the inspiration is coming from Hot Wheels, not to Hot Wheels. Now I 
think I might not have to worry about Taylor at all here. Should should have a large enough gap. Huge gap on Taylor this lap. God damn. Oh, fuck. Way too quickly. Okay. We're good. Everything's fine. Still on the road. Still in the lead. Taylor suddenly broken away from everyone else. Oh, Davis passed Williams for third. Hey. All that. Now will I be able to hold on to third as we cross the line? So I think the Shelbys have slight bit of a bit of a speed advantage over the Celines here. I mean, I know they do over mine. I don't know about Davis's. Let's look behind and see what happens. And then cross the line not be able to see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Williams got around him. Outpowered him. Alright. No, well, you tried. He almost, uh, almost scored the podium, but not quite. And then there's Jones. I like how all these end with, and then there's Jones. Anyways. Oh yeah, that was the last race. I'm like, let's go to the next race. Nope, that's, that was it. That was the third and, third and final race of the Mustang Modern Club. Because what is grammar? No, let's not call it the Modern Mustang Club. Let's call it the Mustang Modern Club, because that rolls right off the tongue. Anyways, shut up, man. First A-Class event of these U.S. events done. So with that, stay tuned for more for the uh -huh.